Hi guys, you know the Tory party, the one that imposed austerity that resulted in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, the Tory party that sold off parts of the NHS while not properly funding it, who has fought expensive ideological battles with striking rail workers, nurses and doctors, the Tory party that refused to build enough social and affordable housing because it would upset some of their backbenchers, the Tory party that delivered a Brexit that is destroying businesses and will undermine the union, the party that sits on its hands during a cost of living crisis and delivered Liz Truss and her mini budget. But that Tory party isn't the real Tory party. No, the real Tory party is the new Conservatives. The headbangers that won their seats in 2019 on the back of a lie by Boris Johnson. Well, they have something to say. We became Conservative MPs in 2019. That great election when people from all over Britain voted to get Brexit done and set a new course for our country. But Brexit isn't done. <laughs> like you, right off the bat, you're lying. Yeah, we, Boris Johnson got Brexit done. People voted to get Brexit done. Yes, they, uh, well, technically, yes, they did vote to get Brexit done, but Brexit isn't done. So they were lied to. Like, starting off on something based on a lie. Okay, let's continue. From the industrial heartlands to the towns and villages of rural Britain, from our traditional supporters to people who have never voted Conservative before in their lives. The British people voted for change. And what did they get? Well, they got moderates kicked out of the party. Boris Johnson kicked the moderates out and he went full on right wing. So, yes, in, in a sense, they did get change. Change for the worse. A change in our politics to make us a self-governing country once again. I hate having to respond to this all the time. Britain was a self-governing country when it was a member of the European Union. If you're saying that Britain is now a self-governing country, and he goes on to say about controlling our borders, well, the borders when it comes to goods coming in from the EU are not under control. And why has immigration increased post-Brexit if the whole point of Brexit was to reduce immigration? With control of our borders and rules. Change in our economy to boost wages reduce immigration and support British industry. <laughs> British industry has been in decline. Investment, foreign investment has fallen since 2016. And you're saying we, we're doing a great job? And change in our society to be proud of our nation, our history and its values. Do those values include calling people who are wanting to come to Britain an invasion? Is that those values? I don't think those are British values. I think the Tories are the opposite of British values. Real British values are about welcoming people, about an open society, a progressive society. Those are British values. Not this North Korea of Europe mentality, not this destruction of the environment mentality, allowing companies to pump raw sewage into rivers and lakes. I don't think that, I don't think those are British values. I'm proud of our communities, the places that we call home. So what do we need to do now? We need to make sure that we start delivering on those messages. <laughs> so you've had four years and now you're going to decide, well, now it's time to deliver on those messages. So we won um, an 80 seat majority in 2019. So, of course, you were you, it's not you know, you're part of the party, but your party won an 80 seat majority in 2019. And now it's time to get to work. <laughs> I think it's a bit late. We call it the new conservatism. The priorities of the new coalition of conservative voters that put us in power in 2019. These people are desperate. They know they're going to lose their seats. So this is a last throw of the dice. Look, you know, we're desperate. We're, we're likely to lose our seats. Um, we won it on the back of, on a lie, on the back of a lie. We were told, we told the public, we will get Brexit done. And Boris Johnson, if you turn your mind back to 2019, was telling everyone, you know, whatever the problem, Brexit will, getting Brexit done will fix it. NHS sh uh, waiting lists, get Brexit done. Kids can't get a job after le they leave school, get Brexit done. Cost of living is, is, is increasing, get Brexit done. Whatever the problem, get Brexit done. That was Boris Johnson's response. And he convinced enough people to vote for his party and deliver him an, an 80 seat majority. And did he get Brexit done? Of course not. Between now and the next election, we need to show that we have a plan to deliver for them. 
tough. <laughs> like, what have you actually delivered? What have you achieved? Cost of living is going through the roof. Yes, inflation is down, but it still means prices are going up. Have you delivered on Brexit? Well, if delivering means uh, businesses can't access the workers they need, there is more paperwork and more cost, then yes, you have delivered. Of action on crime. Common sense, not extreme and radical ideologies. What? The people who put Liz Truss in charge, and who did Liz Truss get advice from? Tufton Street. Right-wing think tanks. Who are talking about you need to cut taxes in order to boost the economy? We need to punish the poor in order to boost the economy. Let's help the rich to boost the economy. And she's saying common sense, not radical ideas, ideologies. An end to illegal migration and real cuts to migration overall. How? How do you end so-called illegal migration? You need to vote for us because we're going to end illegal migration. We haven't done it over the last 13 years or over the last four years while I've been a member of parliament, but vote for me and I will achieve it at the next after the next election. You know, it's like, does anyone actually buy this? You've had somebody who's been lying to you for 13 years and then another person who's been lying to you for the last four years and they're asking you, look, trust me this time. Economy that prospers for everybody and leaves nobody behind. You're the guy who's been going around telling people that they can survive on 30p meals. And now you're talking about we need to create a society that looks after everyone. You're, you voted against measures to help the most vulnerable in society. You voted against free school meals for children, for example. And now you're saying, yeah, we need to look after everyone. We're launching a movement to make sure those 2019 voters give us the support we need to win again next time. <laughs> it's not we're actually going to give them something. We need to convince them once again to vote for us. We need to continue the lie. We lied to them in 2019. We told them that, you know, Boris Johnson's get Brexit done would resolve, would fix all problems. We lied about that. And now we have to lie once again. Time. We've got to be proud of our country, know where we're going and be responsive to what the British public is saying. The new The British public are against Brexit. And you're ta none of you have come forward and said, actually, Brexit was a mistake. We need to undo Brexit. That's what the British people actually want you to do. But you're, you're doubling down on it. Conservatives, find us online. Get involved. Join us. <laughs> it's like the new Conservatives. Like, you've been in power for 13 years and now you're like, okay, we need a new party. And this is, you know, once again, a lie lies based on lies the lie of 2019 that boris johnson would get brexit done and it would fix all problems and now once again trying to convince people you need to vote for us because we're going to fix things let me know in the comment section guys what do you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot